Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Photo Count, and welcome back to the channel. We are back after a couple of days off. I know the content has slowed down inside of FIFA 22, but I want to talk about that today in this video and look forward into this week. Of course, as we have the Silver Star Series promo, we didn't get the release of Prime Icon Moments. EA held those back. And just talk about this game in the market right now in general as well. We did have a pretty big SBC yesterday in the Prime Icon Upgrade Pack, but I still think, and you know, we'll talk about Silver Stars here for a second. I still think there's a lot of grindable content in this game right now, which is why I still think that this is Silver Star Series is a W promo. It's just a different W, and we have to adjust our perspective a little bit from what we're used to having our focus on, building our main squads, right? We're always used to getting new promo cards every single week to build out our main teams to get the highest rated players possible, SBCs, objectives, and promo cards and teams, where now EA is kind of having us focus on a different part of the game for other game modes. And of course, a lot of us aren't used to that and we, and we don't entirely like that. So again, we have to talk about that different perspective, but there's a lot to grind right now. And let's be honest, right? We used to get non-promo weeks in older FIFAs where there was legit like zero content. So having this sort of stuff here, 74 rated Pogba, KDB, and upcoming Marco Royce, there's still some W's to be taken from this. And there's a lot of menu grind you can put in right now. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit today, share some more th thoughts about Silver Stars, as we head into this week and today on Monday, and of course, just kind of catch up on the market and no uh, prime icon moments, of course, man of the matches that are out right now, some moves that I actually made in the short term to maybe flip some cards after some market movements yesterday because of the Cyprian card that was dropped, like this Kakare, getting doozy, those are both down. And I think that today after the weekend league rewards time frame, you'll see some of these cards that went down potentially go back up in price a little bit. Because again, what we see after weekend league rewards is people going out and buying cards for the weekend league team. And I think that there's enough people that are still not super satisfied with this promo that Silver Star series and everybody being focused on Silver Stars won't hurt that. So there's a lot to talk about in today's video. We're going to go through a bunch of stuff. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are new. So let's talk about this promo just a little bit more because I know you've already heard so many people talk about Silver Stars. You've thought it through yourself. We are on the what? Third or third day of this promo. I guess fourth day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, fourth day of this promo. And today we are going to be getting the powerhouse silvers we've had breast silvers speedsters fra silvers and today's powerhouse now i don't know i don't really i mean off the top of my head and looking back through a couple of the leaks i'm not sure who is going to be as a part of the monday silver players from uh, today i feel like it might be a step back to be completely honest because people value pace uh, in this game so much and what we've had recently on the weekend is just a lot of pace we've had Renier we had Elanga with 95 pace right everybody's loving this Elanga and the Paul Pogba the Cyprian yesterday was a huge W the the Ryan Cherokee and the Malqui that were in objectives those cards uh, are really great as well but a lot of those guys have pace right or they got the five star five star we had the leech center back card which is really good so again from a grindability standpoint there's a tons of card there's tons of cards out right now to go out and grind. Oh yeah, we had this Henry guy too, right? So there's just a ton to grind right now in the silver gauntlet. Like that's the good part of the silver promo. But I know it's for some people, it feels like it's a waste, right? Why am I going to go out and, and grind matches and grind SBCs to get these silver cards to put in a team that I'm going to use like once a week to get a silver stars player? Well, I would have to imagine EA doesn't do a lot of this stuff just for a one-off chance. I would imagine that, especially as we head into the later parts of this year, Maybe they're going to try to keep Silver Stars more involved. So that's why I'm I'm not writing off this week uh, of Silver Star series and saying I'm not doing any of the content. I'm going to do Pogba. I'm going to do Elanga. Maybe Cyprian, right? I'm going to grind some of these objectives out because they're not that hard to do. They're like normal Silver Stars players, right? Win five, triple, double, score two goals per match using a midfielder in three separate games. You can do it in squad battles uh, or... Um, I think some of these are say or in rivals, I think as well, but mostly it's just squad battles. Like for the Malakui, it's all squad battles. Uh, so that's that's pretty easy. I know squad battles is not that fun of a grind for some people, but um, you know, there's it's it's not that bad of a grind. It's really not. Just a few games to get some cool cards. And I want to make sure that I have a decent enough silver team that if EA continues to, you know, require silver stuff later on this year, like if they give out sweet extra rewards in weekend league during team of the season for playing a few games of the silver squad or like we expect later on this week the the silver star 
week and league plus awards where they will give you more player picks red picks from weekend league rewards if you play and win a certain amount of games with silver teams right i, I think that is something i want to make sure i have cards ready to go and have a club that can support that if those objectives and if those you know requirements are put out in the future so that's kind of my thought process behind this and again like i said at the beginning of the video we have to, of course, just think back to the past couple years of FIFA where on non-promo weeks, we would literally have nothing. Maybe an SBC or two, um, a player SBC or here or there. And, and now we have content every single day. And again, it just requires a little bit of a shift in perspective. And instead of focusing on our main team, kind of focusing on these silver cards and like a 74 rated pug, but like it is cool, right? I can't say that it's not, it is cool. Now there's like a Marco Royce. I think that's one of the, the next flashbacks uh, for a silver card that we should be having soon. Uh, Royce, Pogba, and KDB were the biggest names lead for that. I don't think Royce will be out today as a powerhouse, but maybe in the next couple days as this promo kind of simmers down into the midweek, probably a loading screen Wednesday, Thursday, and then back into it with a big time promo on Friday. That's kind of how I think this week is going to play out just from a high level perspective speaking that out there right now uh one more thing on the menu grind at the moment we have some upgrade packs here that are very interesting a silver stars player pick okay it's like a gamble pack for silvers it's cheap 71 to 74 triple upgrade is kind of nice uh i guess you know if you're doing bpm this is incredible for bpm and then grinding into league sbcs and that's where a lot of the grind is right now you know bpm league sbcs silvers are like plentiful through this pack not every silver is 71 to 74 rated so you might have to go and find a couple other ones but this is a very nice upgrade pack and this 81 double requiring all silvers is kind of cool as well now the only thing i don't like about it is of course it's a limited repeatable so you can only do it 10 times but it is what it is, right? You can go and do this with all the rare silvers that you might have stocked up in your club that don't go for anything that are maybe untradeable from packs that you've saved up this year. Like I've probably got plenty, especially now that my, my silver team has gone on a makeover, right? My entire silver team has been completely revamped. And now I have all these silver rare cards that are in my club that especially if they're not in any uh, leagues, that have league SBCs, which I'm knowing very carefully that I need to be careful with the cards that I put in here. You know, like I don't want to do like the uh, the MLS because, you know, they have a league SBC. So I'm going to stay away from them. But like French too, you know, um, I don't know about Belgian League. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll not help put him in. Oh, I have this guy in so rare. Oh, I just realized. Okay, anyways, I think this SBC is kind of a W30 chemistry. Yes, you have a 72 overall rating, which I actually just saw. So that 71 to 74 upgrade is a nice grind into the 81 plus double. Whether you're doing league upgrade SBCs, league SBCs right here, these guys, or if you're grinding the 81 plus, there is stuff to grind with silver content on the menus because you can get this stuff and save it for whatever promo is next. Now, that being said, we're going to talk about this a lot more as the week goes on. That whatever big time promo is next after Silver Star Series is over, there's going to be so much pack supply right away because everybody's going to have saved up packs waiting to rip because right now there's like nothing in packs. So again, it's not your fault if you're not a fan of this promo and you're like, Nate, just get past it. You know, stop trying to make something a W out of this that is an L. I think that since there's grindable content in what EA definitely wants to be a quieter week of content on FIFA, I still kind of view it as a W. It's just different. Again, it's all about your perspective, right? And I'm Choosing to have my perspective on a positive side note, saying that these are really interesting and cool cards to collect, put in my club, and I'll use them a little bit for objectives later on throughout this year. That's kind of, again, how that I'm looking at it, and we respect it from EA Sports. So let's talk about something that was withheld from us, though. Yesterday, we thought we were getting Prime Icon moments. They're searchable on the web app. Are they even searchable here on the market? 97 Maradona. Okay, they're not searchable here on the transfer market on console yet um but it, you know i was thinking about this a little bit too today and i was i was just saying it really makes sense that ea is not dropping icon moments right now because there's literally nothing in packs and i don't know if especially with this week where people are this probably disengaged and disheartened by how the content is on fifa after we've had multiple multiple weeks of just insane insane content with team of the year future stars and then last week road to the final um you know I think that if EA just put icon moments in packs, that wouldn't 
you know, make them as much money as it maybe could if they put icon moments in packs this next weekend when they run probably what we expect to be a full out normal promo week with special cards and packs that are not silver cards, like higher rated ones, meta power curve boosting type of cards. Uh, and then they would be able to sell even more packs with those icon moments coming out in waves over the next couple of weeks for that. So, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because right now everything is focused on objectives and SBCs. And when EA does this kind of stuff, they usually don't put cards in packs, especially icon moments cards that write, you know, people know they're so hard to pack regardless. They, it just makes sense why EA is not putting them in. It sucks because I would have loved to see them on the market and that would have spiced some things up trading wise this week for sure. But I also understand it from EA's point of view. I'd be really surprised if they dropped any of those cards in the midweek, like from Monday to Thursday this week. I really think it'd be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday type thing because that's just like what EA has kind of made now is like pack days, right? Where they run lightning rounds and stuff like that. So it does make sense for why we didn't get Prime Icon moments, even though. It is a little bit of a bummer. And then, of course, things that I have not seen completely yet um, in the past couple days are the Man of the Matches, right? Two weeks in a row now with Man of the Match cards, W from EA Sports. Absolute W. Uh, a 93 Conte. Yes, these cards are decently rare right now, and they're going to be rare because we do not have, unlike last week's Man of the Match cards like Dybala and stuff like that, th those cards underwent lightning rounds that were released, of course, with the road to the final promo that was be that was out these man of the match cards that we have are not going to endure any lightning rounds over their time or stay in packs which makes them a very very interesting type of card for a potential investment it's going to make them very rare so we're gonna to have to keep an eye on these cards of course as they're out of packs um now ea is probably gonna mess up with these again like they did last week with the phantom man of the matches i don't know if you guys noticed this or not but last week uh, these cards were in packs for an extra day. Dybala and uh, and Co, as we'll call them, Dybala, Lukaku, those cards, they were in packs until Saturday. And they were actually supposed to go out of packs on Friday with Road to the Final. We kind of did some uh, backtracking and looked back and found that on the menus, it said they were going to leave at the exact same time as Road to the Finals did. And they ended up not doing that. So a bit of an L for me in sports. But um, we'll have to keep an eye on that for the current man of the matches that are out because that might happen again. But these cards are going to be pretty rare. And I think we're going to have more man of the match cards coming in to the game later on this week because we have some more cup matches this week. We have EFL. Um, all the top five leagues have some cup games coming on this next week. So I would expect to see the phantom man of the match cards designs come back out. Uh, I really hope that we get dynamics. They added dynamics a little bit later on for guys like Dybala and for Lukaku. Um, you know, for these ones that we have right now, like Conte and Van Dyke and Felix, those are all playing in the Champions League. So I hope that EA Sports would be able to throw dynamics on these cards. Uh, I, I don't know, but I really hope that they are able to do that because dynamics just make a card 10 times better as you guys know so that's kind of the one thing we've been on a man of the match role especially with some of these man of the matches that have live cards right that's the big thing we're watching on the weekends is a guy like van dyke right got a 91 rated man of the match and man of the matches upgrade the headliner cards so the headliner vvd went up from a um, 91 to a 92 of course because he does have the win streak which again ea the filters in here are messed up i can't find the headliner streak filter. So when I search for Van Dyke, I have to search special and I have to go like minimum by now, like 600K. And I think this car is like 790 or something, 777. So it's just, it's a pain right there. But again, they do upgrade the live cards, like the headliners and the ones to watch it. So just be careful of who's playing really well this next week. That could have some market impact, especially on a, on a slower week. People will be very quick to invest in that stuff if they see uh, a, pl a player performed very well. Now, for the rest of the market, like I mentioned, um, I, Road to the Final cards are still at the freaking moon, man. I, I've got Gareth Bales. I have a couple of them at like 215 that I was trying to trade today, but I still have a bunch of them that I bought at like 200,000 coins, 195, 200K. I've got some Talisos that I bought in the 150 to 160 range, uh, which was even a little bit high. I have some. I bought a Urente today at 688. He was down low. I bought some uh, French midfielders because of the Cyprian. I have Quadrado still, and I have some Denayer. I really wish I would have bought some more Denayer. I think I bought like five of him or seven of him at 60K, and the guy's like 100,000 coins. 
It's ridiculous how much some of these Road to the Final cards just continue to rise up in price. Uh, but again, that's that's the theme, and everybody's flexing these profits on Twitter. Oh my goodness! If you know, join the Patreon if you bought if you bought Road to the Final cards. Well, I think basically everybody this last week bought Road to the Final cards. But since the content has been so quiet and there's not as much going on, it just pushes these cards up even higher. Live upgrading cards, rare items that didn't have a very high pack weight last week, and of course. Um, you know, the content this week has been very quiet. So all of those things together really just made this almost an impossible not uh, type of scenario where these cards would not rise out of pack. So a lot of people are just banking on these items right now. And I totally understand that it's a big time GG. I'm not really looking to sell these just yet. Um, and it's going to be kind of nice because what we're going to end up having is a slow week of content this week heading into the first week of March. And then next week, depending on what our promo is this Friday on the 4th of March, it's going to be very interesting because next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, is when we have Champions League games again. And there are upgrades on the line, some double upgrades on the line here for like Liverpool, right? And uh, Bayern Munich as well. If they win this game, since their games were played before February, what was it, uh, 18th or something like that? Yeah, February 18th. Since those games were played back here, or sorry, back here on the 22nd and 23rd for a few of these cards. Um, or sorry, no, 15th, 16th. 15th, 16th, these games didn't count towards the upgrades. So again, like a card like Mane, if they win and then, okay, they would go on the next round as well as their second leg win, that's going to be a plus two for that item, right? Potential plus twos on a guy like Kimpembe versus Real Madrid. Potential plus two on a Quadrado, on a Toliso. So there's a lot of potential um, with Riyad Mars as well. There's a lot of potential for some big upgrades with these Road to the Finals. So if you're holding on to some of these, if you feel like the, the prices have risen up so much that you're just fine taking the cash, like the Denayer card is so high up, right? That just seems like to me almost one that I would consider taking the cash on, especially if he does it 100K. And then Toliso as well for a card that it, it was 150K and is now... 200,000 coins. I understand that he's French. I understand that he's Bayern, but he's three star, three star. He is Hillet Gang. And, you know, he's an interesting card, and Bayern could go far, but this is just the type of item that is tempting me to take the cash, as there's so many other French meta midfielders that are in this game um, that maybe today after rewards on a Monday, I would look to cash a few of those cards out, just in, from my opinion. We'll see. It's up to you, though, right? It depends on how many coins you have, how liquid you want to be heading into this week. Of course, there doesn't look like there's going to be a ton of crazy price movements this week, which is actually a W for trading on the market. Um, but also, it's it's a slight bit difficult to trade on the market because everything just seems to be so high in price, right? Even as I take a look at some of like the future stars items um, on the game, like the prices are just... They're just outrageously high for some of these cards. Graven Birch is almost like 900,000 coins. Uh, even some of the lower tier future stars and other promo items just continue to go up in price. Vlahovic is like, is he 600K? Like that is, he is, okay, sorry, not 600K, 400K. I was looking at a different card's price. This guy has flown. He's exploded, right? Smith Rowe is way up in price um, as a future stars card. So all of your rare out of packs promo cards are just flying. Uh, and that's, again, just because people are going out and buying other cards for their teams instead of going out and buying cards from like a new promo team because all the stuff right now is based around silver. So again, that's it's just a very interesting part of the market. Again, after like a month and a month and a half of just insane content, bang, 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 promos after promo after sick content, this is like lowering the bar and putting the perspective on silver players, which is so very interesting. Um, but I know it's, it's different, right? And it's way better than having no content on a non, uh, promo week as EA used to do. Now, speaking of yesterday, I have to talk about this just a little bit at the end of the video is the fodder situation. Like everything is high on the market and now including SBC fodder. And this is something that I even expected a little bit because last time we had a series promo, the foot series back right before black Friday fodder went absolutely crazy because we had a couple icon upgrades that were out then. 88 rated players are almost 40,000 coins. 86s are 20,000 coins a piece. So if you went in on fodder this weekend, uh, seeing that it went a little bit low, knowing that we had icon upgrade packs still out there, that was a really, really good buy. This stuff is flying. Oh my goodness. Ter Stegen is 67K. Fodder is literally approaching the moon again, man. Look at this, 54K yesterday. 
this is like the most expensive that Ter Stegen has been all year long. His peaks have been like 60K and he's, he's 67,000 coins. What's his price range? 90? Yeah, Fodder is in at the moon. Fodder is at the moon at the moment. And it might even go past the moon depending on what other content comes out this week. Because again, right now, if you're like somebody who's not a, about this silver promo, then what are you going to be doing? Maybe you're doing the Icon Upgrade SBC. Maybe you're just taking a week off of FIFA in general uh, or whatever it is. Um, it just the, the player pick that is still here and available and that Prime Icon Upgrade, right? I'm even considering this six days out. 84, 86, 87 squads. It's three squads, so it just seems easy. And that's why so many people went and did this SBC yesterday. It is non-repeatable. I, even I'm considering it, right? I've got a dupe, Benzema, and Suarez in my on a sign. So I'm even thinking about it. So yeah, that's kind of the, that was the big piece of content yesterday that kind of made people happy because it was like, Hey, we're back on track with content that is not just for silvers. Right? So that was kind of interesting to see as well. I think we'll have more SBCs like that throughout this week. It's still going to seem like a slow week of content. Um, but when we have an icon upgrade like that, that gets people pretty interested in the non silver part of this game. So I'm curious to see again what happens there with weekend league rewards. Again, like I mentioned, I bought a few cards because of the Cyprian that came out. Uh, Genduzi was like 340,000 coins. And I think he's still a little bit low at the moment. I was picking these up at like 300 to 305. Yes, yeah, so he's still like 305. So I'm just going to hope and see that maybe this Genduzi bounces back today after rewards. Maybe some of these other cards, like, again, but again, he has only four pages to 330. So I don't mind that. But if there was stuff that dropped yesterday, or especially like as you're watching this video, again, Mondays are still times where people go out and buy cards for their teams. And I still think that even though the the right now a lot of stuff in this game is based around the silvers and a, a lot of that hype with those objectives and SBCs, there's still people out there that are going to be buying cards for their team and upgrading that stuff after they get their weekend league rewards, especially, especially dependent on maybe their red picks and however many coins they get back from those rewards. People go out and they try to upgrade their main team from that. So... I would still watch a lot of the market today is I think you could see some road to the finals go higher in price. You could see some of those man of the matches get supplied and then rebound. I got a crazy lazy here on my done room, but that was a dub. So I'm not in a hurry to sell anything this week. I'm really not. I'm taking it slow. Um, nice profits. Again, the, with the road to the final upgrades, just played into the cards uh, advantage and their price is rising, right? The Havertz, uh, I sold all of mine, but he's 260K. Um, you know, the Vardy is up in price. It's, it's just... Everything is up, right? Because a lot of people don't think this promo is very good. And I, I do understand why. I do understand why. I Trust me. We've said it. So hopefully throughout this week, we still get some pretty good content to talk about. Other than that, we're just going to be grinding the market, honestly. Uh, I'm going to be grinding objectives and SBCs, but there's still going to be ways where you can trade, fluctuation trade, and, and maybe we'll look a little bit closer this week. Add some methods to do that during the week. If you're like, Nate, I don't want to do this stuff or I've done all the ones I want to do and I still want to make some coins, how can we do that? So we'll take a look at some maybe fluctuation methods and parts of the market that you might be able to hone in on specifically uh, with some trading related content here this week. So let me know what you guys think down below again in the comments. There's just, this content is just different, right? It's really, that's what it is. And people are surprised. It's not the normal. And that kind of puts some people off. I get it. I really, really do. Especially for guys that I like to open a bunch of packs. This promo for you is not good because there's really nothing in packs to open. There is nothing in packs except for man of the match cards to open packs for right now at the moment. So that's kind of what's going on right now on FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. I don't know what you guys think, but let me know down in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe. If you are new, it's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.